Hey guys, it's Addison. Um, I just put up my other video, and I tried to make one about my sexuals class, and it didn't work. Um, my computer overheated, so I had to delete it and start over. Um, before I get involved in my sexuals rant, um, I meant to put this in my other video, but I've been doing some yoga, like, all the time, and I actually have, like, a legitimate bump now. I can't really make it any bigger than that, but it is, and it's, like, actually, like, a muscle, and down here is actually hard, too. So, I'm super excited. I've been bragging to some of my guy friends, um, that T is gonna make my muscles explode, and, um, it's funny because one of, one of my best friends here abused testosterone as a cis male, and, um, so he lost his hair. But he's huge. He's, like, way bigger than his brother now, and, um, he regrets it, for sure. He misses his hair dearly, but, um, it's been interesting, because I'm so excited to get on it. Um, but, yeah, so... <sighs> My sexuals class. Um, I got an email, or I, I sent an email to the head of the sociology department, because that's the department it's under, um, saying what was going on, really eloquent, trying to not be a dick while being a dick, and it worked out pretty well for me. Um, the professor sent me an email back saying, look, I know what's going on, I've heard it from a couple of other students, if you want to come in and talk to me, you can, but I've pretty much given her as much instruction as I can, and, um, I'm sorry it's not working out, there's not really much you can do at this point because it's almost over, um, midterms are passed, um, I have until December in this course, and that's it, so, um, it should be interesting to see how it ends, um, I am so pissed <laughs> that I wasted my time with this course, um, however, it is, it did kind of contribute to me getting a GWS minor, so, props for that, um, since midterms, we have watched another movie, which she didn't watch before class, so for what she knew, it could have been horrible, and it kind of was. Um, it was on Honor Killings in Jordan, and it was subtitled, and she had no idea it was subtitled, so she started reading the subtitles to us, and she wasn't really reading them as much as paraphrasing them, and she was paraphrasing them in really leading, really almost racist kind of ways. Um, at the one point, the guy was talking about his finger getting gangrene, and how if, he, if his finger gets gangrene, he'll cut it off, because losing a finger is a lot less than losing an entire arm, and it was an analogy to losing a female relative instead of losing your family honor. Um, and she said, and if his finger goes gangrene, he will swing the axe and cut it off, and it's like, do you really need to do that? Like, axe? Really? It, it would probably be like a dinner knife, honestly, and so it's like, you know, it was completely ridiculous, and she was asking questions the whole time because she couldn't follow it, and I was answering them because I'm like, if you're not going to pay attention, you know, I'm going to fill you in and make you feel stupid. <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, and then Thursday, we had the chapter on men and masculinity. We talked very briefly about homophobia, and she gave an example, but it wasn't a, a homophobia example. It was a... Um, it was sexist. She said, you know, like, you throw like a girl, blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's sexism, that's not homophobia. And then the next section was gay rights, and she skipped it and went to fatherhood. My friend Amanda, who was sitting two seats down, was like, whoa, we have to talk about gay rights because this was last week. And the Matthew Shepard hate crime act just got passed, and it was a really big week for gay rights. And so the, the teacher was like, you know, well, if you want to talk about it, go ahead and talk about it. And it was like, it's your fucking job to talk about it. Like, you're not gonna do it. And poor Amanda, she's so straight. She has no idea what's going on. She just wanted to stick up for me because she knows how frustrated I get in that class. Because she's like my best friend in there. And so, after a couple of cricket moments, I laid it all out. Um, I talked about the Matthew Shepard Hate Crime Act. I talked about... Um, suicide rates, I talked about, um, Schwarzenegger and passing the, the Harvey Milk Law, but bashing down trans rights and stuff like that, and I, I went on for a while, <laughs> because it was like, you know, whatever, um, 
someone has to say it. And um, it was really awkward and really unfortunate that I had to do that because it's not my job. My job is to go there and participate in the class. My job isn't to educate over one on gay rights when they're written in the book and the teacher should be up on it. Like, it's her class. She should be on top of these things. And she's not. She doesn't teach. She doesn't do anything right in that class. It's horrible. I, I shouldn't even show up, honestly. Um, but um, I plan on talking to um, the head of the sociology department um, and making sure that she will never teach here again because she is biased and she is she doesn't like having discussions. We talked about rape culture on Thursday because we basically talked over her because she was trying to shut us down the whole time. And it's like, no, we need to talk about this kind of stuff. Um, and we got into a big discussion about it, and she got all freaked out. And it's like, look, we're adults. We're not going to shoot anyone. You know, we're not going to start beating up on each other. We're just talking. And it's like, you know, we have to do that. Sorry. I have, like, a zit or something in my ear. It's really gross. And that's disgusting in TMI, but you can deal with it. I hate that. But yeah, so she kept trying to shut our conversations down, and it was completely ridiculous. It's like, no, we're going to talk about this stuff whether you want us to or not. So, whatever. Um, I think that's it. I'm not looking forward to her class at all. Um, I... Um, oh, I'm writing a paper in her class um, on androgyny and trans and... Um, the history of various sorts. Um, I'm writing about androgyny as being closer to God, and then androgyny as um, under chains, like androgyny, uh, anti-androgyny, and then um, like the current state of androgyny. Um, so it should be really interesting. It's probably going to be more than eight pages, but um, I'm probably going to leave it however long it comes out because it's like you know, I don't care. If she's gonna mark me off for it, she can mark me off for it, but I'm doing work. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing this for her. I'm doing this to educate her, because she knows nothing. So, whatever. Anyway, I don't think my computer overheated on this one. I'm gonna wait and let it run through again, and then upload it, and uh, I guess I will talk to you guys next Wednesday, or Friday. Probably Friday. Anyway, I will talk to you kids later.